Previously on A Night on the Farm, we wrecked our car and found ourselves at a mysterious house. Hello? Is anyone home? I ruined your fence. We soon found out that we weren't alone. Are those eyes? Whoa, whoa. Because we're lunatics, we decided to go outside and check it out. It's good to know that I'm not the only one looking through windows at this house, you know? While outside, we found a box connected to a generator, which gave power to the house. I mean, this is a massive generator. There we go! And because we can't mind our own business, we turned on the computer and gained the access code to the basement, which is absolutely bonkers, but not as bonkers as what we're about to find down there. This is A Night on the Farm. My name's Mr. Miko. Enjoy the video. What is that noise? Oh, diamond plated wall? Hello? Is that the creature? No, it's just a staircase. Oh my goodness, I am freaking out. Okay, so that's what fans look like. Not that one creature. What is this? Jerry cans? Hello? Oh, we can't go, we can't go back up. We must have broke this, we're too thick. <laughs> All right, let's just do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Nothing to it but to do it. And if we die, I will say goodbye. Ooh, I just crashed my car and broke your fence. I don't want to be in this basement. Not for another minute. But here I am making bad choices again and again and again. Making bad choices again. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. Flashlight. Oh man. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sing. If you didn't like my singing, I'd, I'll stop if you turn my flashlight on, please. Let's get to the light. I don't even like karaoke. But if you do, I, th I think I do then. If you like karaoke, I like karaoke. Whatever makes you happy makes me happy. What is happening down there? Oh, why are we here? Why are we here? What are we doing? What are we doing? I would never, ever in a million years, ever leave my car. Ah! Oh my god. No, 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 sorry. Sorry, I, I, oh my goodness. Oh, no, absolutely not. No. I think I just pooped my pants a little. I don't know what that thing is. I have no idea what that thing is. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just gonna say, I don't like it. But I think we gotta get close to it. It was just there the whole time. You're just gonna hang out there, you're not gonna say anything? My dog does this to me all the time. That's why he's a menace. He's 34 pounds and still growing, and sometimes, sometimes he sneaks up on me just like that, just like that. Drives me nuts. Why are we getting closer? Why can't I turn on my flashlight? Oh my god. My name is Mr. Miko. I'm friendly if you're friendly. I like karaoke sometimes, and I stole some toys upstairs. Ah! Oh my god. I hate it. I absolutely hate that. Oh. I lied. I hate karaoke. We just gotta get down there. Now I'm upset. Now I'm upset. You've made me mad. Weird creature. Got me going downstairs, you know. It's easy to go down them, but I'm gonna have to go back up. And I don't have the dexterity and or the stamina to do that. Okay? Ah, you would never in a million years find me go down all these stairs knowing I'd have to go back up. I'd never leave my car. I'd never sing karaoke. And I'd also never go down these stairs. Ah, makes me mad. Why? What are we doing here? <sighs> yeah, that's broken. Oh, it's just a farm. No, it's not. Hello? You have an alien infestation that's probably Jamie. Here. And I am a random stranger who broke your fence. I'm coming in. You make me mad, make me upset. 
was that? Medical containment testing access. Can we open this? I need a keypad. Key code. Looking for a key code. We gotta go this way. I don't wanna go over there yet. I don't wanna do that yet. Oh, looks like we have to. Ah, What was in there? J J J Jamie? Jamie, is that you? What was in here? You got a note? If you're reading this, we think it was Jamie. We're not entirely sure. One by one, everyone started bleeding from their face. My god, the sound is, is it even real? Is this all in my head? I locked the doors to the main chambers and put elevator E1 into stasis. I can't access the other elevator from these terminals. So, last I checked, Jamie was still in her room. In testing, I wouldn't go in there. But if you absolutely have to, I change the key code to the date they captured the damn thing. Fitting, right? I think I'm going to sleep now. My face feels hot. It's difficult to write. Bill. Bill, why are you always changing the codes? Rest in peace, Bill. Let's read this note and then we'll start rummaging through things. Alex. To all, behold my latest side project. The P-Type Helmet. Feel free to test it out when you get a chance. Yeah, it looks kind of silly for now, but I've already noticed a significant reduction in headaches in my early tests. Once I build another one, we should be able to use it for communication too. Also, once this gets approved, we can strap it on Jamie and potentially amplify her budding abilities. The future is now. Alex. So, Alex is a nut job. Did I just put that on my head? I think I put that on my head. A prototype helmet. Supposedly it helps minimize headaches. Other applications were planned as well. Huh. Well, Bill, you're giving me a headache with changing all these passcodes. That's what's happening. Now let's rummage through your stuff, Bill. It's all locked, this is all locked. Hmm, got a computer. What do we got here? Operation Plain Site Facility 8. Facility 8. Oh, this is where we find the release date, right? Established 1999. Oh, wait. Capture date 093098. I just gotta get a piece of paper. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep, that's the capture date. That's what we need. That's what we need. I thought Jamie was a dude. Is this Jamie's room? We're in, baby! Oh, What's down there? Why are we here? What are we doing here? Why are we here? <laughs> Why? What is this room for? Come on, you know I'm gonna hit the button! Ah! <laughs> I got no business being here. I got no business being here. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. What? A drawing of a red door? Ooh, okay. So we got the Operation Plain Site Facility 8 Study Overview. Study procedure. Draw 0.5 milliliters X01 from A1 and inject it into P01. Document effects. Mental, physical. Verify potential applications. Military, scientific, other. That was jargon to me. Volunteer info. Volunteer information. Name, Jamie Soto. Sex, female. Age, 29. Blood type, O. Position, RND. I wonder what that stands for. Isn't blood type O, like, really good? Like, really rare? Like, it blends in with all the other blood, blood, blood types? Blah, blah, blah. I wonder, do you know your blood type? I know mine. A positive, I think. Maybe. Something like that. Release form. Status. Sign. Date. 092702. I bet that's another passcode. Witnesses. Bill Stevens. June Lee. Karen Brown. Of course Karen's name is Brown. Injection. Whatever that is. 
Incident? Oh, instructions. Amount, 0.5 milliliters. Location, do I have to remember that? I'm not gonna remember that. Storage instructions. Samples should be stored in secure containers at negative 37.2 degrees Celsius to negative 43.3 degrees Celsius at all times. Do not leave samples out for more than 24 hours. Important, samples left out for more than 24 hours are to be incinerated immediately. I don't know what that Celsius means in Fahrenheit because I'm an American and I'm uh, stupid and smooth brained. I'm assuming uh, that's really, really cold because zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Because that's freezing. So negative 37 is like way, way, way below that. So probably like what would be zero degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. Let me know if you know. Um, unlock container. I don't want to hit that button. Why did I do that? Oh, probably for this. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Huh! Ah! Huh! Ah. Red door? Am I the alien? Now where? Now what? Can I fly? Am I the- am I the alien? What is this? Ugh! Ugh! What? What the damn hell? Are we upside down? What's happening here? Imprint. What the hell is that? Oh my goodness, what? No. Making me dizzy. Why, yeah. Uh... All right, we can go through this door. Bill, if that's you, shame on you. It's probably, probably Lee though. Red door, let's just do it. Crossing, crossing into what? This wasn't here before. You're not even facing me. Let's get in here. What do we got in here? Take yoink. Ooh, we're back here again. <laughs> uh, what are we doing here? What is that noise? Hello? Here we are again, being all upside down and whatnot. Let me in. Jeez! <laughs> uh, what are you doing there? Scare the crap out of me. All right, what are you what are you pointing at? You were pointing at the DVD collection. Let's get in there. What do we got? Anything good? I'm pretty sure that says mash. <laughs> All right, so you're pointing in at this. Ah. Literally, you just, you're just, honestly, just making me mad now. Bill. Bill, why are you always playing games? I'm gonna report you to HR. Karen already told you. I know she did. Ooh, imprint. This hurts my eyeballs. All right, we're leaving. We're leaving. Ah, jeez. Damn it, Bill. Lock it in. Get your stuff together, Bill. Why? Huh? What is that? Ah. Ah, you can't can't trick me now. I'm expecting it. We're all expecting it, Bill, you and your games. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Come on. Ha. Laughable. Okay. Everything's right side up again. That's, that's buenos. What are these? Hello. Let me out. Red door. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Now we got another one. Where where are we? Let's just right off the bat. Wait, what? No, you can't do that. Okay. I'll just go here then. Hello? Nothing to it, but to do it. Nothing to it, but to do it. Here's one. Here's two. Probably some more around here. Here we go. All right. Oh, I see you. Are you getting closer? Hello? I don't want to go over there. I think we have to. Darn it! Bill! Hi, friendo. I was just uh, imprinting things. Is this a reflection? I'm afraid of my own reflection. Oh, ah. Why, uh. Bye. Good luck. Over there. Not that one. Seriously, I gotta I gotta pay more attention. There's one. There's two. There we go. There's three. See ya. Wait, don't don't leave without me. We're friendos. Remember karaoke. What's your favorite like karaoke song to do if you, if you have one or if you just like hate karaoke like <laughs> tell me you hate karaoke. Uh... What we got in here? So we're just hopping from room to room. Okie dokie. Until we leave this place? I very much would like that. Oh, this one's on. Use. Jamie, day 29. Oh my god, that's so much. Injection time, 0748. Physical state, BP normal. Lungs, normal. Physical, no abnormalities. Abnormalities, abnormalities. No abnormalities. Keep saying it, start sounding like the wrong word, right? Mental state. Not any. <laughs> Same. Investigating. Other notes. The subject was not in her room this morning. How is this possible? Of course the camera feed cuts out right before she disappears. We spent the entire morning searching for her, only to return to TC5 approximately three hours later and find her laying in her bed. Her explanation? I was close to communicating with it, so I stayed there longer recommending 24-hour supervision at this point. Making Jamie sound kind of high-strung. Day 22, injection time, 0500. I wonder if this is uh, 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. I'm assuming, I don't know. Well, let's just think it's 5 a.m., doesn't matter. Physical state, BP normal, lungs normal, physical, no abnormalities. Mental state, delusional. Other notes, three weeks in, subjects is showing increasingly strange levels of brain activity at night. During the day, she often recounts strange dreams from the night before. Note, she insists they're not dreams, but rather places she's visiting. She mentions traversing dark spaces with puzzle-like access points. She calls them doorways. We've been having her draw on the whiteboards. That explains the whiteboards. Day 15, injection time, 516. Physical state, BP, evaluated, lungs, normal, physical, swelling around injection points subsided? Sounds good. Mental state, irritable, combative. Other notes, two weeks in now. We were a little late on the injection this morning due to conflicts with the subject. Worth mentioning, not only has the swelling around the subject's recent injection point subsided, but some of the injection points from day one through four are non-existent. Day eight, injection time. Five, physical state, BP normal, lungs normal, physical, redness and slight swelling around the point of injection. Mental state, tired, irritable, same, absolutely the same. Other notes, 
We're about a week in. There's definitely a change in the subject's behavior, though whether it's related to general stress or the injections has yet to be determined. Let's get that swelling down and make sure she gets to bed early tonight. Day one, injection time, five. Physical state, BP normal, lungs normal, physical no abnormalities. Mental state, nervous, anxious. Other notes, subject is physically and mentally healthy. Recommend proceeding as planned. Sounds good to me, so. Open. Open. Let me out. Or let something in. I don't know how that works. So you made me go through all of that. So this is open. Ooh. Ooh. Pills? And vitamins? Well, what the damn hell? Ooh, toy. Nice. Uh, open, open. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, a letter. And a cassette. Computer? Bill, take a listen to this when you get a chance. I think she's losing it. I feel bad, but what do we expect? All of this just to lose her to Facility 7. What are we thinking? Karen, P.S. Walters changed the damn CC code again. Try one two one two one nine. If it doesn't work, come find me. Always the changing of the codes. Ooh, so we missed two tapes. All right, this is the last tape. There's no time. You had every opportunity to listen to me, to take this seriously, to take me seriously. But you think I'm crazy. Look, I get it. So, I have to try something new. And I need you to understand what's at stake here. This is gonna sound dramatic. Everything, everything is at stake here. But who knows? I'm pretty sure we doomed us. And not like us us here on the fake farm us like us people us earth how the f <sighs> well how should i know i'm still learning assimilating <sighs> maybe it's not my problem no i don't mean that not yet anyway we were on the right track with the helmet. Yes, I know about the helmet. The cry, the headaches. There was just a small piece of it in our range, our spectrum. Our senses are so limited. So to us, it was subtle, sometimes a ringing in the ear, an impulse to act against your will, like a puppet. When I was injected, I think it did something. It made me more like them. But I'm still having trouble communicating. They know I don't belong there. So yeah, I'm going to let it out. It's the only way to prevent whatever's about to happen. And you're going to help me. If I don't accidentally kill you in the process. Wish me luck. What? You let that thing out? You let that thing out? What is wrong with you? Ugh. Crazy lunatic just makes me... Ugh. Why? But then again, it hasn't hurt us. I mean, it didn't really like my singing, you know, but... Who does? Press. We missed two cassettes. I don't know where they are. Probably over by the DVDs. We're leaving. I'm leaving. I don't want to be here anymore. Bill. All right, so... We're in, baby. Oh, no. What are you doing in there? Why am I going in here? Why? 
Bill. I just saw you over there. Also, Bill? Alright, before we get into that, let's look around a little bit. J J Jamie, is that you? Oh, here we go, we got a note. Walters, regarding our previous correspondence, with all due respect, I do not see the point of transferring our specimen to Facility 7. Surely, they're not planning to expose them to one another. Miller's had over a decade with their find. Is he that bored, or is this coming from higher up? Either way, I won't allow it. We've sacrificed too much. Let me know who to write, or email, or whatever. This is ridiculous. Lee. Lee, I'm telling you, Lee, Lee knows what's up. Lee knows how to get stuff done. Well, maybe not, because it doesn't seem like it left, like they kept it here at this facility. Okay, another key code. Toys, yes. We're gonna be rich. How many do we have? Ooh, eight. Okie dokie. Let's go to the computer. Uh, Operation Plain Sight, Facility 8. Destroy specimen. Open specimen chamber. Emergency exit override. Warning, action cannot be undone. System stability critical. Oh, we have to choose. Oh, no. Uh, open the specimen chamber, emergency exit override. Emergency exit override. Destroy specimen. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. It's it's just there. But listen, that's not the only one. Like this one, maybe it's the original one, and maybe that other one, that, oh, geez, I got goosebumps. Maybe the other one is what was Jamie. And it's just flying around here. And if we destroy this thing, if we destroy this specimen, that other one is gonna come flying down this hallway and they're going to eat us. I just know it, because look how skinny they are. They haven't had a meal in a good while and they would love to eat my thick thighs. I just know it. So I don't think I wanna go with that choice. Can we open this? There is override the emergency exit or we can just let it out. You know, you wanna just, fork around and find out? Uh, we have to choose. We gotta choose. We gotta choose, we gotta choose, 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 choose. Gotta choose, 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 choose. Okay, no more karaoke. I'm gonna let him out. I'm gonna let it out. Don't kill me. Do not kill me. I let you out, just remember that. Ah! I let you out. I like karaoke. Ah! Okay. Hopefully I didn't just doom us all. Listen, you gotta think for yourself, okay? You gotta do stuff for yourself sometimes. You can't help other people if you can't help yourself. And right now, I just wanna get out. And I don't know if destroying that thing was a good idea, because it has a friend. And I have no weapons. I don't I don't even have legs. Look, I don't have feet. I have shoes. I'm running around here barefoot. Let's let's leave. <laughs> oh boy. I want out of here. Is it up there? I don't know. Let's just go. Let's just go. Oh, one of those. Can't be looking the wrong way the whole time. Stupid! Okay. Oh, good, this ladder's, this ladder's fixed. But not, once I get on it, it's probably gonna break. Where are we now? More storage facilities. Is this the shed? All right, before we get out of here. Oh, see, we should have grabbed these. See, I would have been chucking these. What's that? Take key. Where was that? Behind the beans? Oh. 
Oh, another generator. Huh. Ah! Jesus! Why? I hate you! There's another one? Oh, look at all these doors. Just remember, I let your friend out. Okay? I let you out! Ah! To live is to... is to exist. We just out here trying to be. You got more questions for me? More riddles? Fear is a sickness. Fear is a weapon. Fear is a trial. Uh, so far, it seems like it's been a trial, so we'll go with that. Because you've been scaring the shit out of me, if I might say so myself. To control is to manipulate, to guide, to harness. Uh... To manipulate? Right? I don't know. What would you pick for that one? I don't really know. Are you gonna jump on my neck? Oh, I'm coming up to you. Look at this! We're flying! Compassion is a strength a weakness, a tool. Compassion. Uh, I'll go with the strength. Because, like, if you use it as a tool, then I would think that it, that would probably, like, make you weak. Like, using compassion if it's not genuine, you know? Like, that's not... That's just weird. Bye! Look at all these doors! Wow. All right, we're going. To die is to end. To redirect, to begin anew. Uh, it's definitely, uh, I would think, to end. Because, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to sit there and pretend I do know. Consciousness is a well, a bridge, a crutch. Maybe it's a bridge. You know? I don't know what the hell I'm saying. It makes no sense. I just, I just, I'm just trying to, uh, <laughs> I'm stalling. Uh, I'm gonna go through this door. Your actions recorded, your thoughts weighed, your gate forged. But is my door unlocked? Cross. Hmm. A warmth washed over my vessel as I watched the stranger from afar. Their action, completely in tune with their core, might have saved an entire species. Yes! An entire planet. Maybe an entire realm. Hmm. In the end, the stranger's triumph is their own. My only regret is that I failed with the others. After all, the stranger's presence was a stroke of luck. A last ditch effort to undo all the cruelty and chaos we'd created. The doom we'd spelled. Was I wrong to absorb an innocent in all of this? Well, that is for the stranger to decide, isn't it? I think I'll inquire in the coming days, but for now, I will watch and wait. Will the stranger be drawn to the sound of the source as I am? And if so, will they seek it out before or after exploring the myriad of gateways in the traverse? The possibilities are truly infinite. Wow. Look at us go. We saved a realm. We saved the whole realm. <laughs> I knew letting it out was the right answer. At least for now. So there's like totally multiple endings. That's awesome. If you want to see what some of those multiple endings are, I recommend going and getting this game. The uh, developer is super nice. They completely built this game completely by themselves, which I think is absolutely amazing. I had a lot of fun playing this. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to play this game. I am... I got chills. That story was amazing. Uh, it sounds So it seems like they, 
they that whatever that creature is, it like multi-dimensional. Oh, stats. Tapes found three out of five. Strange toys find found eight out of thirteen. Total inventory items found twenty-five out of twenty-seven. So I missed a few things. A Night on the Farm, an amazing game. I really, really enjoyed playing it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you made it all the way through this, I'm assuming that you did. If you're new here, consider subscribing. My name's Mr. Miko, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>